good morning all of you today we are going to discuss one more topic in 15 minute that is electrical installation so the topic name is types of batteries so you know batteries are the devices which convert chemical energy to electrical energy or there are two types of batteries which are rechargeable batteries and which are non rechargeable batteries so basically battery is a device which converts chemical energy into electrical energy and is made up of number of cells so a battery sometimes may comprise of number of cells to give you the sufficient voltage batteries consists of two or more voltaic cells that are connected in series or also in parallel in some cases to provide steady dc voltage at the batteries output terminals so batteries are classified into two types primary batteries and secondary batteries so what do you mean by primary batteries so basically primary batteries are the batteries which are non rechargeable that is they are meant for only single usage these batteries are meant for single uses once these batteries are used they cannot be recharged as materials may not return to their original forms so when the battery supplies the electrical energy due to the chemical reaction in them it supplies the electrical energy so that react that reaction is not reversible so therefore these primary batteries once discharged they cannot be recharged again so other name of these batteries is disposable batteries examples are aa and triple aa batteries used in wall clocks television remotes etc second type of batteries are secondary batteries so these are your rechargeable batteries so in that in them the chemical reaction is reversible secondary batteries are also known as rechargeable batteries a secondary battery or storage battery can be recharged because its chemical reaction is reversible so these batteries are uh, used in mobile phones and some rechargeable batteries and mp3 players likewise so there are different types of primary batteries so you know primary batteries are the batteries which are disposable batteries that means they are meant for only single usage and the chemical reaction in them is not reversible so these are the various types of primary batteries so first one is carbon zinc dry cell second alkaline cell third zinc chloride cell fourth mercury cell fifth silver oxide cell sixth lithium cell so these are all different types of primary batteries or cells so we'll be we'll see one by one so first one is carbon zinc dry cell so you can see in the diagram so the carbon rod e acts like a anode and various component parts are manganese dioxide and carbon and other chemicals that are around the carbon rod there is outer jacket zinc container paper separator electrolyte washers and seals these are the different parts of a normal battery so these are this is how the batteries look like this is one of the most popular primary cells often used for type triple a comma double a comma c comma d negative electrode is zinc positive electrode is carbon so you know uh, in a battery the basic structure is it comprises of uh, anode cathode and electrolyte so anode is your uh, positive one cathode is your negative one so the output voltage of a single cell is about 1.5 volts second type of battery is alkaline cell the alkaline cell is another popular type also used for double a comma c comma d etc it has the same 1.5 volts output 
as carbon zinc cells but they are lost longer lasting it consists of zinc anode and manganese dioxide cathode in an alkaline electrolyte it works with higher efficiency even with continuous use due to low internal resistance so there are different types of batteries basing on the chemicals that are used so basing on if chemicals varies their duration and uh, capacity will also vary third type of battery is zinc chloride cell so this is basically a heavy duty type battery it is a modified zinc carbon cell it has a little chance of liquid leakage because the cell consumes water along with the chemically active materials so when this cell is operating it will consume water so after full uses it, it becomes dry so the cell is usually dry at the end of its useful life next type is mercury cell so this is how a mercury cell appears so this is uh, um, also called as button type of batteries where in which they are used in watches wrist watches kind of equipment and this cell consists of a zinc anode mercury compound cathode and a potassium or sodium hydroxide electrolyte it is becoming absolute due to hazardous associated with proper disposal of mercury so this compre this cell comprises of mercury so nowadays we are not using these kind of batteries that is batteries with this combination composition next kind of battery is silver oxide cell so you might have also have seen these kind of cells so you'll see the composition of this cell this cell consists of zinc anode silver oxide cathode and potassium or sodium hydroxide electrolyte these are available as 1.5 volts these are miniature button form applications are hearing aids cameras and watches so in these equipments we'll use these kind of batteries that is hearing aids cameras and watches next kind of battery is lithium cell so in this we'll use lithium as one of the compound this cell offers high output voltage longer shelf life low weight and small volume it comes in two forms of 3 volts lithium sulfur dioxide lithium thionyl chloride lithium sulfur dioxide type batteries contain methyl cyanide liquid solvent if its content is punctured or cracked it can release toxic vapors so these kind of batteries are harmful safe disposal of these cells is critical so all these are primary batteries next we will see secondary batteries so secondary batteries are rechargeable batteries that is in them the chemical reaction can be reversible so these are all the types of secondary batteries so first one is lead acid cell second nickel cadmium cell third lithium ion battery fourth nickel metal hydride cell fifth nickel iron cell sixth fuel cell seventh solar cell so these are all the secondary batteries that means they are rechargeable kind of batteries so we'll be seeing one by one first one is lead acid cell so you might have seen this kind of batteries so these may vary basing on the capacity from small batteries to large kind of batteries lead acid cell is a widely applied type of secondary cell used extensively in automobiles inverters backup power systems etc requiring high values of load current so you might have seen them in automobiles and inverters and what is the composition your anode is porous lead cathode is lead dioxide and the electrolyte is sulfuric acid 6 molar h2so4 the output is 2.1 volt per cell so i already said each cell can supply a voltage 2.1 volts so if our voltage requirement is more we will connect two or more cells in series 
to get the required voltage for suppose cells are typically used in series combination if i require 6 volts i will connect 3 cells in series so 3 into 2.1 is approximately 6 volts or else if i require 12 volts i will connect 6 cells in series so 6 into 2 12 volts sometimes i may require 24 volts in which case i will connect 6 cells in series to get 12 volts and for getting 24 volts i will get connect 12 volts cells in 12 volts in series so 12 into 2 24 volts next is nickel cadmium cell nickel cadmium cell this type of cell delivers high current it can be recharged many times so i said if i change the chemical composition of the battery its capacity will vary so here the anode is nickel hydroxide cathode is cadmium hydroxide it maintains a steady voltage of 1.2 volts per cell until completely depleted so it can maintain a steady voltage of 1.2 volts until it is completely depleted its specific gravity does not change with the state of charge that means as the cell supplies charge its specific gravity will not change it will remain the same applications are portable power tools alarm systems portable radio and tv equipments portable means these equipments can be moved from one place to another place so this is how they may look so the size may vary basing on the requirement next kind of cell is lithium ion battery lithium based cells are most compact ways of storing electrical energy compact means in small space only we can store more amount of electrical energy that is the meaning Low in, lower in energy density than lithium metal lithium ion is safe so these are safe kind of batteries that means they will store less energy compared to lithium metal so therefore they become safe anode is graphite cathode is lithium manganese dioxide electrolyte is mixture of lithium salts energy density is twice of standard nickel cadmium cadmium so that means we can store more amount of energy so this is how they look so i think you are familiar with these kind of batteries which are used in cell phones next is nickel metal hydride cell so these are the details regarding that cell these cells are used in applications demanding long running battery performance example high end portable electrical or electronic products like power tools so they give long running life they offer 40 percent more capacity over a comparably sized nickel cadmium cell they contain the same compounds as nickel cadmium cell except for the negative electrode so only the difference is negative electrode they are more expensive than nickel cadmium cells self discharge more rapidly and cannot be cycled as frequently frequently as nickel cadmium cells so they discharge more rapidly that is without usage and they cannot be and they cannot be cycled as frequently as nickel cadmium cells next kind of cells is nickel iron cells so the composition is anode is nickel hydroxide cathode is iron electrolyte is potassium hydroxide the specific gravity of electrolyte remains unaffected during the charging and discharging process so the specific gravity of cell will not change while from charging to discharging they are now almost absorbed due to lead acid batteries so these kind of batteries are not used because lead acid batteries have replaced these kind of batteries these are used in emergency labs in hospitals and places where rate of discharging and charging are rapid so wherever fast charging and discharging is required there we use this so this is a pic showing the battery next kind of battery is fuel cell so this is an one of the interesting kind of cell in fuel cells 
will combine hydrogen and oxygen to get water and energy thereby we will get energy using this reaction so the longer we supply hydrogen and oxygen to the cell the longer we get the energy that is the advantage of fuel cell so we will see the points a fuel cell is an electrochemical device that converts chemicals such as hydrogen and oxygen into water and produces electricity in the process so that is the thing so in this cell we will combine hydrogen and oxygen to get electricity as long as the reactants hydrogen and oxygen are supplied to the fuel cell it will continuously produce electricity and never go dead unlike conventional batteries fuel cells are used extensively in space program as source of dc power they are very efficient capable of providing hundreds of kilowatts of power so in some cases fuel cell can act as source to produce to produce electricity so this is the diagram showing the fuel cell so you can see here hydrogen and oxygen anode cathode and different reactions that are happening and we can also see in the uh, picture a demonstrated demonstration of hydrogen cell uh, next kind of cell is solar cell so you are familiar with this kind of cells that is your solar panels so you know the working of it when sun rays fall on this solar panels they will produce electricity so you know solar cells are made up of semiconductor materials like silicon so when sun rays falls on silicon your photons will move causing uh, production of electricity that is they produce dc power solar cells convert the sun light energy into electric energy they are made of semiconductor materials next they are arranged in modules that are assembled into a larger solar array to produce required power an applied voltage higher than the voltage of one cell can be obtained by connecting cells in series see the point is a solar cell is made up of several small cells so several small cells so each cell can produce some voltage so if i want higher voltage i'll connect the number of cells in series if i want higher current current i'll connect a number of cells in parallel so higher voltage requirement requires a series connection of cells and higher current requirements requires parallel connection of cells and that is the point so next point is the total voltage available across the battery of cells is equal to sum of individual values of each cell parallel cells have the same voltage as one cell but have more current capacity to provide higher output voltage and more current capacity cells can be connected in series parallel combination so generally in solar panels cells are connected in series and parallel combination to require the to get the required voltage and currents so these are the different cells that are there so this topic is one of the important topics so these are the various types of batteries that are there so primarily primary batteries and secondary batteries primary batteries are non rechargeable batteries that means in them chemical reaction is not reversible whereas in secondary batteries chemical reaction is reversible that is they are rechargeable batteries so these are the different classification of batteries thank you